guys, what's going on? We have a little test we're gonna do out here today. We're gonna see if it's worth the time to till the ground before we scoop it out with the skid steers. As always, we're proud to be sponsored by Bora Wheel Spacers. We have a set of three inch spacers on the 4720. Really helps stabilize this machine. If you wanna get some stability on your tractor, check out Bora, link down below. If you enjoyed the video, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you. Hit that subscribe button down below if you wanna see more and visit goodworkstractors.com to get all your tractor attachments. So this is the first area that I tried my hand at grading, not something I have a lot of experience with, using the skid steer and just a bucket, and it was a bit of a challenge. And so I posted some stuff to just kind of show my progress because this is a new property that we're developing. And a couple folks mentioned that tilling the ground up first and then using the bucket to scoop it out was a lot easier, a lot more productive. So we're gonna put that to the test today, side by side, a couple strips, tilling it up back and forth, and then a couple untilled areas. And then we're gonna take the skid steer, you can pretend it's a tractor as well, but we're gonna to try to just dig everything out and get that prepped and ready to go for gravel. Let me tell you a few features about this tiller, but it is, as far as quality goes, about as high quality as you can get on the market right now. The seven foot's gonna be the biggest that they make. They do make a six foot and a five foot, so smaller variants. It's got a 65 horsepower rated gearbox, so PTO horsepower. So this is a 66 horsepower tractor, putting out around 50 to 52 horsepower at the PTO, so well within the constraints. Uh, this model, the seven foot wide, weighs about 850 pounds. It is gonna be gear driven, not chain driven. It's also gonna have a slip clutch. You're gonna have a floating tailgate, so you can position that and adjust it, keep it all the way open or keep it down and let it just kind of um, float on the ground as you have it tilled. You're gonna have adjustable skid runners on either end, a built-in parking stand. It is gonna be category one and category two quick hitch compatible. So you will notice it is attached to the red Spico quick hitch that we have, category one, the only quick hitch out there that doesn't use bushing. So it's a direct category one pin fitment. We sell those all over the country all the time. Now we're gonna try to stock these as much as we can in green. There are other colors available. If you want to plan ahead, maybe it's winter time or it's just in the off season and you can give us three or four months, yes, I know it's a while, but if you can give us some time, then we can put in an order for you in some of the other colors, red, blue, green, orange, um, even construction yellow if you want that. Now, if we take a look underneath, you are gonna see a three inch diameter rotor shaft. You're gonna have six blades per flange and you're able to till up to seven and a half inches deep. I'm sure there's some features that I forgot, but you can go to our website and get all the nitty gritty on this tiller and all the other Dirt Dog products. So we went back and forth, back and forth twice. So we went over it a couple times. It's roughly four and a half, five inches deep. So not the max depth, but a pretty good start. We want to dig this topsoil out so we can get a good base. Again, I'm new to all this. So I'm new to the grading, new to putting in rows. And there's a lot of ways to do it. And it seems no matter 
what way you think you're gonna do it, somebody else has to do it differently. So I'm just picking a method and going with it. We're gonna get a bunch of that topsoil out and then we're gonna bring in a big stone base and then finish it off with a lot of fines on top. See how that goes. Okay, I'm gonna hop in the skid steer and we're gonna give it a shot, see the difference between the tilled ground and the untilled ground and if it was worth the effort. About 60 paces, so about 180 feet. All right, well, uh, we got an audience now, so the pressure is on, you know, trying to act like he's not paying attention back there, but I, I know he's looking over here. So anyway, I am quickly, quickly realizing how much better it is to have this tilled up and then scoop it away versus trying to just bucket and power through untilled ground. It's very easy to see, I think, hopefully in the video. This is just smooth. Um, took it right down to the untilled portion and very consistent and even throughout and very easy to push. Over on this side where we didn't do any tilling to prep it, it's very inconsistent and it's tough, at least for me as I guess an inexperienced skid steer operator, to try to maintain a consistent amount of angle 
and the consistent amount of dirt that we're scraping through. And there's little pockets here where it just caught and started to go downwards and take big divots out. Um, and then there's a lot of areas where it barely scraped off the topsoil and the grass and anything else. And it's just very uneven. And at this point, I'm giving up on that. I'm just gonna go ahead and till this section here and then get back in the skid steer and bucket it away. I may wanna go one entire additional pass across everything and repeat the entire process to get the proper depth. However, I'm very, very pleased uh, with these results. I mean, it looks pretty amazing. Hey, so I wanna thank you for leaving that tip. I, I can't think of who it was right now, but I think there's a couple of you that mentioned that. It really made a huge difference and for somebody like me that's not done this before, it was night and day on the end results. So who would have thought using a tiller for driveway prep? Well, I hope you found this enjoyable and if you have some more tips to share with me and the others that are watching, leave a comment down below. As always, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you and hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more, kind of follow us along as we develop this property and make sure you stop by goodworkstractors.com if you're looking for something for your tractor. Well, it's time for me to go hop back in the tractor and get to tilling the rest of this lane. Thanks again for stopping by and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.